uh, we're gonna jump into a video of mono green shot so I made some adjustments to this because of the Hogak uh, dredge vine deck so I'm playing four relics in the main um, I am playing one blast zone um, so I got I feel so weird about this so like the factory keeps going back and forth on this because I want four forest but I don't so I'm playing it with it here and then the cards that I trimmed, um, you guys might not agree with this. So I kept all the artifacts, sorceries, all the same. I'm on three O stones, still four cards, two worm coils, one ballista, one ulamog. I didn't want to touch my cards or my ugans, but that's where I'm at. <laughs> um, and the cyborg, pretty similar. We're on two claims. So I did go to full three Thrag Tusk over a 2-2 two, two split with uh, Thrag Tusk and Thoughts. And then the rest of the Wish Board here, we got 10 cards we can fetch up. I am playing a Tormod's Crypt right now. Um, so then that way we can um, fetch it up with Karn and just cast it right away. I am going to just upload this real quick for you guys. Got that set as Kerr and let's, uh, let's run a league. in there for you guys all right this hand's not doing anything we're shipping it this hand's forming tron so we're keeping it and we'll take a redundant piece that's fine humans here. Alright, they conceded. Good game, good game. So we can go ahead and just take these relics and just take them right on out. We don't need any of them. Bring in these Bring in these thrags and these nature's claims. <laughs> um, let's see. I'd rather take. I want to leave the ballista on the side, I guess. I'm going to take in a worm coil. And I'm going to bring in the O stone and cut the card. Now we're going to bring in the ballista because if we're going to be. If we cast the great card, great creator, we're casting. We're going to go fetch up in Staring Bridge. Like that's the whole plan. So let's do this. Cutting all the cards because Karn's like the worst card anyway. Mm -mm -mm. This hand's a bit suspect, so we're going to ship it. This hand's better. Bottom that. Ooh, they're playing the new land. Oh, we're professionals. We are professionals. Formtronic is no big deal. I too like turtles, Godrys. Let's see what they're gonna name. You gonna name it Ostom? Ugin. Wrong call. Unless they've got... nope. Alright, so we can go get the Tormats, I mean the Ensnaring Bridge, but then we've got a massive hand. We can also just go... Alright, 
Now, if we don't go get something, we'll be taking at least eight. I guess what we can do here. Is run out Karn minus it and just go get the bridge anyway, right? Oh no, let's not run out the bridge, let's run out the O stone. Karn will die, we'll wipe the board, and then we'll run out bridge. So let's do that line. Okay, so we don't have to crack the O stone yet, obviously. So why don't we just go ahead and run out a sphere, draw a card, stirrings, no threats. We'll just grab a land. We don't want to show them the blast zone quite yet. Here, and we'll actually just pass here. Oh, the oof. That's cool. That's cool. Let's run out this blast zone then. Run out this wormy. And we'll run out this ostone. We'll pass. Let's see how our opponent handles the worm coil engine. Oh, and uh, I never said this. Uh, if anyone is curious, I did finish 60th in the uh, Invitational, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, you know, completing and doing well, making it to day two was huge, and then actually cashing out was really awesome. So that was uh, quite an enjoyable experience. Are they just going to run out of Kite Sail? I'm just going to take up our Blast Zone and then blow up to two. It's interesting. Okay, they realized they were dead. Now if my game could just realize. Alright, there it goes.
Mm, this hand doesn't do much in forming Tron. Let's ship it. This hand's close. Need to get a little lucky, obviously. Your Tron piece, too bad it was the wrong one. <laughs> okay, let's see if they field us. And if they field the wrong one, that'd be great. Keeping up the relic activation, obviously, here, because they do run surgicals in the main quite a bit right now. And I'd rather not get blown up by that. There it is. I really should have kept up the other activation, honestly. Sylvan's crying here because I just need to make my land drop. Normally you hold those, obviously. But when they're just field of ruining us here, we just want to guarantee our land drops. Double surgical. So yeah, that's why I should have had it kept up the other activation. So that was just a mistake. Well, let's run up this O stone, see if it gets countered. Yep. Run up this stirrings. Grab another land drop. Oh, I should have grabbed the blast zone. That's it. Just making all kind of misclicks. See if this Karn's resolving. Sure isn't.
so that's most likely a cryptic command in their hand. And then they get to swing, bounce it back to their hand. And then have cryptic up again. It's so good. All right, so we're going to run out this relic. How joyous. So, like, Sorcerer Spyglass and stuff isn't great, I feel like, because it's Teferi. Same thing with Liquid Metal. But. We could Ballista for one. Yeah, let's do that. That way we can take out the snap. <sighs> oh, they got another snap. How rude. I just don't feel like we're getting there with this game, folks. It's looking real rough. So you don't want to crack the spheres and stuff on your turn because you won't get to draw anything. This means we are dead here because we're going to lose our. We don't have another land. We're going to lose our Karn. Yeah, I'm going to concede and wrap this one up. I really don't like Worm Coil in this matchup, if you aren't aware. <laughs> um, Ulamog's pretty hard to cast. 
I'm going to trim two O stones. I'm going to keep the relics and just keep a high threat net and city after that. Form Tron here. It's a little awkward, but we can make this work. The other awkward part is just having the force in hand. I like I hate having force in hand against blue white because it just gets field of ruin over and over, and if you don't have what you're looking for, you're just gonna be punished. Alright, so here, uh, because they are playing counter spells, uh, I'm gonna run off the expedition map first so we don't get like spell snared or anything like that. I try to cast the Sylvan Scrying. Okay. Oh, opt. Okay. We're good with opt. Let's grab power plant, ship it over. Run out a sphere, and we'll pass it over. So we're gonna get punished by the frickin' Shadow of Doubt one of these days. I just didn't want to run uh, into open counter mana, so. Unfortunate. Hope they don't have a surgical. Because if they do, pretty bad for us. Feels like a surgical. I'm gonna put a fate counter on our Thrag. On our Karn. Minus. Destruction of Returns pretty good. Let's see if it's good enough. Resto. 
surgical my scry? No. Oh, that's funny. Stirrings. Got another card. Cool. Let's see if we can get one more. Natural Tron with a relic.
Well, let's see if being unreasonable pays off. Nope. They are down to two cards, though. Well, we need them to hit the mine. I mean, not the mine. Anything but the mine. And we also need them not to have another surgical. Oh, I can't activate the liquid metal coating. I'm dumb. Okay, they conceded it anyway. That was a bad fetch. All right, I need to take a quick break, everyone. I need to just hit the bathroom, um, and I'll be right back. Give me just a second. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's run another league, see if we can 5-0 this. turn three Tron into Karn, so perfect. It's all we've ever wanted in life. Don't thought sees us. Don't thought. Don't you do it. Now, mm. opponent, you're being rude. I'm just trying to turn three Karn you. <laughs> We're monsters, folks. do we get here? How mad do you think they'll be when they see this? <laughs> Didn't get a concede. Not that mad. We can go get a factory and start taking over the game that way as well.
They're most likely on the uh, salt high. Not the salt high. They're just running out of threat. Hmm. Okay. The Aspergorios deck, I guess. All right. Oh, that's in the. Of course, that makes sense. But ooh, the Ranger. All right, CMC one. Sure. What are we getting? Oh, Shadow, obviously. We're gonna go get that factory. We'll take another card from them. We will crack this relic and then play the relic. All right, so we can make a bunch of blockers. One unknown in hand. Karn's going to four. <laughs> so I think we're just going to take their blue source from them. Ooh, I like Unearth a lot. And then we're going to trigger this relic. And run out this O stone. And we're just gonna crack it right now as well. Yeah! Get him with that value. All right, so I want to keep the relics here. That seems sweet, but the thrags are thing we can dip on. Ulamog seems a little too costly. I'm good to trim a ballista, and I think I'm good to trim a card. This hand seems pretty solid. It's close enough, I think. As always, it has two Tron pieces and it's got some draws. I'm good with that.
I guess we're gonna take a relic here. Let it so they can only Jace dig. Ooh, stony. That's pretty bad for us. And still no tower. Alright. There's the card I wanted to cast if we ripped it off the top. No such luck. Alright, what's going to be the better line here? So if we like pass, we get Tron, pass back, we still pretty much die, right? Like. I guess our only hope is like landing a drag toss to buy an extra two turns. Because nothing else really works. Drawing lands. I'll get you. Alright, uh, let's bring in the stonies. And let's trim two relics. I want to still keep fairly high threat density. Actually, uh, we're going to keep the relics. Let's keep trim the sphere. Two spheres. I normally don't like trimming the spheres, but if you're going to trim the star of the sphere, you generally should trim the spheres. Unless you're going against, like, prison decks. Like, uh, were. I mean, you wanna. Or, not, not were, but, um. The mill one. Lantern control. Because then you wanna draw at instant speed. You get an ancient stirrings! Professionals. Mm -hmm. 
boy. Oh boy. These relics have been pretty relevant, to be honest. Me Tron with double map, double relic. I'm in. I'm in with a payoff. <laughs> Good thing we've got redundancy opponents. They took our payoff. Kind of rude. Ho ho ho. They're gonna hit us with the pithing needle. See if we can stirrings our way into something. Tron's a good start. I could have grabbed the blast zone, but I w I'd rather form Tron and just get any other thing we can get going. Pithing needle. The sword combo. All right, I imagine they're going to name our relic because it stops their combo. So we're gonna crack one and then pass. We'll keep the other one in play so they're forced to name relic. Oh, his name's Karn. Okay. So we're still gonna run out our Karn because it does stop their combo. I'm gonna whir for two and go get a damping sphere. Yeah. That's fine with us. So we're just going to run out our Karn. And we're going to... We're not going to Sylvan Scrying, I guess. Do we want to wait one turn? Yeah, 
We're gonna we would be able to activate it anyway. So let's wait a turn. You got a four opponent. Oh, bridge. Okay. Sword, sure. So, because we're going to be cracking our uh, blast zone here. What deck are we going against? We're going against, uh, we're going against like Sultai War. They've got the Thopter Sword combo in there, um, for good measure, so. We're just gonna Karn here, see if we can get a Lattice Lock. If you're curious what deck we're on, we're on Mono Green Tron. And we're just gonna go for the Lattice Lock. Oh wait, I don't have enough mana, right? Yep, I have, now I have enough mana. going to plus up here. Oh, I can't swim with it yet. And we'll pass. We'll swing with O-Stone next turn for a couple turns if our opponent wants to just keep doing this, or we'll swing with our... Uh, We can swing with map, but it doesn't seem really that great. What do we got here? Yeah, it's fine. If our opponent wants to do this, we can do this. Hey, Ben. Thanks for joining me. Bring in the claims. We need to keep the relics in. Sick out the Ugans. And I'm good with the rest. We played some Etron earlier. That'll be coming up on uh, line in a bit. And then we're running through our league right now with uh, Mono Green Tron. We've got uh, three wins in. We're on the fourth one right now. and. I'm feeling good. We're going to take this one down as well.
Hmm. This hand's a bit rough. I don't think we can keep this one. Same here. Uh, this hand's pretty suspect, but we'll keep this one. Yeah, I'm on four relics right now because it's completely a meta call. I feel like there's a ton of the uh, Dredgevine deck floating around right now because everybody's just going crazy hype with it. So I'm just playing four relics uh, preemptively as a result. Not a fan of it, to be honest. Because we had to trim some of our threats, but it's a necessary evil for now. We'll see how it plays out, to be honest. Because we may need to also increase our removal spells, because... Um, oh, that's going to be a bummer. Uh, because... Yeah, the new Bridge Vine deck. we got to be prepared for Infect, too, because that deck's going to be pretty popular, I think. I'm actually surprised no one's playing it, because there's some sick turn two kills with it. Just all the pithing needles. Really hope they don't name, um, Blast Zone. <laughs> this isn't going to end well for us. <laughs> Gonna try to hit lands and land this Karn. Goes Karn the Great Creator. We're gonna have a hard time casting anything else right now. Luckily, our opponent's not doing much either. Okay, we still can't hit lands. Let's pass it over. Ooh, there's the Urza. So anyone hasn't seen it, the new Urza does create an infinite mana combo and an infinite creature and life combo with the Thopter Sword combo in play. Because you can tap both of them for mana, sack it, generate, and keep on going. So it's pretty sweet. And we still can't draw lands. And I just cracked that into an R set. I'm going to concede. <laughs> Alrighty, let's try that again. Mm, I think this is fine. If they pithy needle this turn one, it'll be pretty annoying, but. I swear Narset's gonna be the death of me.
Not getting lands is also going to be the death of me. Oh man. Sphere, green, stirrings, land, stirrings, mine. Got their folks. Got, got that mana. All right. Unmoored ego. That's cool. <laughs> There's like a lot of Trotty <laughs> in a lot of different areas, so. Oh, they're gonna name Crown the Great Creator. Cool. I find that interesting, but I'm gonna take it. Okay, we're gonna pass. It's gonna give them one more Narset trigger, but then if they want to cast that Damping Sphere, we'll be able to blow it up. For one, they can go grab Pithing Needle, so I'm forced to crack this. We couldn't crack the maps there because of a Pithing Needle. We can go get it with the Sylvan Scrying. But depending on what they play out, we may just be running out O Stone anyway. Okay. Sylvan Scrying. We'll go switch up Blast Zone. Play and pass it over. Sword, sure. Mock, sure. Do we want to take out the damping sphere or the O stone? I think we want to take out the pith. I mean the pithing needle. All right, we're gonna pass this over. 
Hopefully our opponent does not get another pithy needle or spyglass. Cool. So let's run out the sphere. We're just gonna pass this over. And I think now is as good as time as any to draw this, because let's get a bunch of cards. Still nothing, so we're actually just going to let it go. I guess we could d nature's claim the damping sphere and hold up the O stone. Sylvan scrying means we can go get a threat. Oh yeah, we're gonna take over this game now. We've got this factory. All right, they got the Thopter combo. So this is pretty good. We can activate Relic and crack it in response. Let's just have them burn a bunch of mana first. Control, crack this, activate this. Yeah, I like Urza Factory. It let's us fetch up a win con, which is pretty solid. But I don't like being on three lands right now. My teammate's on four lands as a result. By cutting, um, he cut another threat out of the main, which I also didn't like. So that's why I'm on three force and four utility lands. They're gonna gain a bunch of life here, but that's fine. We're just gonna wipe the board. I should have played that sphere, but... Ooh, another Thopter. Run out our Worm Coil, and then we can start generating tokens and see if that's enough to take over this game. As long as they don't draw a sword. Alright, they're going to take another turn. That makes sense they would want to play one infinite mana means they can take infinite turns with that. Uh, we are! We're doing pretty well, I would say. Uh, we're With this deck, we are 3-0 uh, you know, in our fourth match right now. In our other deck, we uh, um, we went like 2-3, and three, Eldrazi Tron, so... They in fact did play a seven mana draw card. And untap. Factory's gonna get us this game.
Narset. That's a rude opponent. So we actually don't want to like activate the sword while they have mana floating because then they could they could sacrifice their mox in response here and then trigger the sword again. So we're going to let that resolve. Not much we can do here right now. What we're going to do is... Last zone's already gone. Karn's gone. Basically need to hit a relevant threat. Is what I would count as relevant. All right, let's swing first. Gain more life. Get some tokens, exile stuff, get a card. How great is that? Pass it over. We don't have enough mana to make a token. But that's okay. We got our opponent dead in two. Look at how good this relic is. Good thing we're running four of them. What do you got, opponent? Kind of sneaky snake stuff you up to. Are they gonna go get a bridge? How incredibly rude. <laughs> It's gonna have time to rebuild. Ah, we got there. Carney, baby. Look who loves you. We do. Oh, yeah. 4 and 0. Let's get the 5 and 0. Get that money.
Mm, this hand's not doing much. Neither is that one. Mm, I guess we're keeping this one. the deck. Alright, well we can slow them down a little bit with this relic. We would have really liked to hit a land. Ooh, they're dropping a Hogak. Hogak. I think we're dead. Unfortunate. I don't think we would have actually even gotten there otherwise either. So not really that big of a deal. Um, hmm. So this list doesn't really cage in the side, and that actually would have been something I would have brought in. I'm going to bring in the Ballista here. Um, and the worm coil, and just in case they're on a little bit of a slower hand, and the trinosphere. So it's been that. Mm, let's get Tormods. I actually think Karn's pretty bad here. Unfortunately, we are going to bring in a Spyglass. And I think that's it. We've got a relic, so we're gonna keep this hand. Grave crawler beats plan. Might be good enough, who knows? <laughs> well, on the plus side, we've got a map. That means next turn we can Ugin and wipe the board. Or we might do Karn so we can hold up a relic. Did hit a Hogak. They can cast it. Right? No, they're one short. If they crack that though. Well, no. That's fine. If they want to cast Hogak, that's fine. They don't have a bridge right now. Unless they have altar, we don't really care. And if they do run out altar and sack Hogak, we can crack the relic in response. Yeah, there's the altar. Alright. 
So, if we had one more mana, we could do the O Stone thing. But with it as is, I think what we're doing is carning, and we're not going to trigger the Sanctum. Um, uh, uh, uh. Plus, no. Minus, no. Both options just don't seem great, but we're going to go for the minus on the Hogak. Interesting they didn't want to mill himself, so we're just going to target him with this relic here. Karn's probably dead, but that's okay. and an altar. Cast the grave crawler, sure. Don't really care about them recasting and constantly ticking up here because we can just we're just gonna we're gonna wipe the board. Ugin, wipe the board, and then we are going to crack it this time. Let's go get a worm coil. We'll minus the board X's. One. And then. I think they really want to mill themselves too much, do they? Like the more they mill themselves, the more I'm just gonna wait until I can trigger this like this relic and wipe out their graveyard. Alright, now they're milling us. Let's 
still milling this out, so didn't hit another bridge. There's another bridge. Like another seven cards. Or no, they can also uh, that will trigger. And with that trigger, we will exile everything. Alright, so they're left with one card in hand and an altar. And we get a Karn Daddy. Woot woot. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's finish strong. Finish 5 and 0. Oh. Let's do it. Keep this, it's got a relic, turn one. Turn two spyglass would be pretty cool too. Shut down that altar or the carrion feeder. You guys never knew that Tron was the prison deck, did you? Alright, we need them not to go off right now. Vine, which is pretty bad for us. So we're not going to form Tron, so we need to luck sack our way into it. Oh. Alright, so I think we've got to run out this spyglass. Got another Venge Vine. Okay. I think we've just got a new altar of dementia. Now we gotta pass it over. Yeah, pretty much at this point we've gotta luck sack our way into um into Tron to stay in this game. If we would have not played the spyglass. <laughs> Alright, can we get a ballista? Ballista? <laughs> oh. Come on, ballista. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> uh. 
Alright, we can block the Venge Vine. Shoot a creature. Let's go to two. Make them spend the mana, I suppose. here they swing out See what we can draw. It's another Karn. We'll drop a Karn. Minus a Grave Crawler. Swing for the guaranteed life gain. No, I think we have to. Block and save Karn. Hope they don't have artifact removal. Crawler's fine. off of that. Recast the crawler. They've got a bridge, but they can't do anything with it yet. So I think we're good to just pass. Looting, sure. Then 
seems fine. I think that's good enough cause for us to crack this relic because they can't cast anything else because of the Trinosphere. <laughs> we managed to get that one, folks. <laughs> that was sweet. Uh, alrighty, so that's going to be it for me tonight. Uh, this was pretty impromptu. Uh, pretty much an impromptu game, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for coming on out and hanging out tonight. Um, we are going to be back on Sunday um and we'll play some more games so if there's a deck you guys want to see me play or try out let me know uh as always i'm always happy to play tron cell decks because i do play them quite a bit i wouldn't mind trying out that infect deck uh my friend's got a list maybe i'll snag it from him so thank you so much everyone have a great night